The first candle represents the hope oh, oh. that Jesus brings. The second candle reminds us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Peace. The third candle reminds us to rejoice in oh, the birth God. of Christ. Yeah, thank you. The scripture reading is from Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness from the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor in the day of vengeance to our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks, Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards, and you will be called the priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the Sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. Let us pray. God of grace, ever faithful to your promises, the earth rejoices in hope of your Savior coming and looks forward to longing to his return at the end of time. Prepare our hearts and receive him when he comes, for he is the Lord forever and ever. Amen.